So today, we're breaking some balls. <laughs> that I mean bath bombs. So here I have three Lush bath bombs. Now one of them is the all-time favorite of any Lushy, which is the Twilight bath bomb. But I also have two of their Christmas editions. Obviously I got Shoot for the Stars. Now this is amazing because it's a blue bath bomb, but then it also has these gold bath melts in it. So it's, it's two products in one, and that's amazing. And then I got this little guy that I have forgotten the name of, and I haven't been able to find it. But apparently it turns the water blue. So I'm really excited to crack this guy open and see. I'm expecting it to be blue inside, but there is some pink on it as well. So we will see. Now, why am I destroying these wonderful products? Okay, I'm not destroying them. What I'm doing is being frugal. So this guy here, is beautiful and I was not going to leave the store without it. But it was about $12, $13 for this. Now, I don't know how long you stay in the bath, but I'm not in there for more than an hour and I'm not trying to pay that much <laughs> an hour for a bath. Um, that's, I mean, there are bath bombs in that store that cost more than I make in an hour. So I still want to enjoy myself, but at the same time, we got to get some, find a way to be a little more frugal about this. And for that, I'm going to split them. So for this little guy, I'm probably only going to get two abuses out of it. But for something like Shoot for the Stars, this is so big, it is bigger than my fist. That's going to be a four user. So let's go ahead and get cracking. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Twilight Bath Bomb. And that's because it's already starting to crack along the seam. So I know it's gonna be nice and easy to break open. Now first, make sure you get a big piece of plastic. I'm using a, a big uh, bag so that I can make sure I collect any extra dust that's left over. I've got a big old knife and I have an ice cream scoop. You can also use a hammer, anything like that. And I've got some Ziploc bags to save my halves as well as any powders that is produced because that'll still sizzle and fizzle up in the tub and we are not wasting anything. So I'll lay this paper towel down and that's just gonna help me get any extra little powder that falls off and I'll pour that in a bag too. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna place my knife into this crack that is already existing in the bath bomb and I'm going to take my ice cream scooper. Voila! Easy as pie. Look at this beautiful, oh my goodness. That's gorgeous. Now, we're gonna do a fourth seas. I'm gonna go across, just kind of make a little seam, halfway across each of these sides. All right, now we say a prayer to the bath bomb gods so that these don't just disintegrate into powder. Put that knife right back there. Grab your ice cream scooper and tap, 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 tap. Oh! So it did break into three chunks, but these are still very usable. I would say each of these is good for a bath, especially this guy right here. So I'll set those aside and let's see what we can get out of this dude. Get my line a little deeper. Tap, 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 tap. Ha. Again, not a perfect split. But again, this bath bomb already had some damage to it in pre-existing lines, so that could be what's going on. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bag these bad boys up, including the dust that came off, because we are not wasting a penny's worth of this product. So you can see how much of this powder and how much product would be wasted otherwise. So what I'm going to do is just scoop it up and put it right into my Ziploc. And that I can dump right into the bath. Done! Easy as pie! Now we're going to go ahead and shoot on over to shoot for the stars. Now this one I am so scared because it's so beautiful and there's no cracks in it. Um, it is perfect and it is limited edition it's just for Christmas so for this guy since he doesn't have a perforation already 
I'm just going to carefully go around the rim right where it's you can see that they press the two halves together try to open it back up along that crease being very careful because I do need my fingers and finger surgery probably costs more than a lush bath bomb Right, now I'm going to make a nice deep dent here. All right, and it's starting to crack a little, so it's time. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh, we got some chipping. Do a little more sawing. but not the split I was hoping for. I'm gonna rotate a little bit, continue with my seam. Okay, I think I've got it nice and in there. Ha! Beautiful. I could not have asked for anything more perfect than that. Now it is a little disappointing that the bath melts are only on the top, but of course we're gonna try to quarter these as well. So this bottom one is pretty thin. We're just gonna make a nice seam. Tap, tap, tap. Bam! That's two baths right there. Set those to the side. And now for the big daddy. I'm gonna try to angle it so I'm not cutting into the melts. in the middle of this one which made cracking it open even easier so as you can see on my paper towel here I did get quite a bit of waste but of course that's not going to be wasted it's all going in my handy ziploc and it's all going right into my bath for some fizz action so yeah was this bath bomb $12 Yes, <laughs> but instead of one bath, I have now made it four baths. So, four times the use. And that took me how long? A couple minutes, max. We're gonna grab this paper and pour. And seal. So glad to still have my fingertips. We don't have any blood yet. All right, I think since it's such a bath, small bath bomb, that should be sufficient. Let's tap, tap, tap. Ha! Ooh, there's seeds inside this one. So I thought this was going to be blue on the inside. Um, the gentleman who sold it to me said it would make my bath a beautiful blue. I don't see how that's going to happen. Um, but it does look like there are some seeds in here, so possibly an exfoliating bath. If you know what this bath bomb is, please go ahead and leave a comment <laughs> down below. So, my main camera cut out and betrayed me, but that's what secondary cameras are for, so sorry that my face disappeared halfway through that video. Anyway, if anybody knows what this white bath bomb that's white all the way through is called, let me know so that I know what I bought. <laughs> so here is my haul for the day. I ended up with 11 bath bombs from three. So thrifty, I think so. Frugal, I think so. And definitely I'm gonna enjoy it. Especially those, that powder, that is called a bath sprinkle. And it's gonna be wonderful to mix the different powders with the different bath bomb chunks and kind of experiment and see what works the best for me. All right, well, if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.